Alrighty. Hello. Okay, so I did a complete overhaul on my skill bar last night. After I got my Vala, I decided to include more cooldowns than I normally would. And I haven't done this for a while now since uh, Season 21, where I actually decided to use more of the more normal skill bar, so to speak, and also uh, be a bit more supportive in group in a sense of companion. Uh, so it basically includes cooldown because of the sliver of terror in the helmet. So here I'm going to check my last push. I dropped down to 407. And like I said, previously I've always been playing with uh, Vault and focus mine just to fix the vault if I overdo vaulting. And then I also play with Vanishing Powder as I've always done. Uh, there was only like one or two hours that I played with Special Recipe to test it out with uh, Squirt Necklace. And uh, my muscle memory, like I said before, that it just doesn't suit that very well. That being said, uh, my helmet is still not the Vitality version, uh, my shoulder is still not the area cooldown combination, but this Vitality is necessary for now until I replace the helmet, so it's like interlinked. Uh, I am thinking about just augging this shoulder though because I want to make use of every single Increase stat I can because my sliver of terror is not the right one either. Uh, although this is a different one now because uh, the next one I'm going to show you uh, is the previously used one, which is the 60 all res with 13% cooldown. I actually need the extra 0.5 cooldown and I still do not have the main primary stat or main stat version of sliver of terror. So uh, that's a lot of missing main stat, which means I have to have more augments. Uh, this is the pair of gloves uh, that I've been using. Uh, this is the restraint that I did with the push. And later on, you'll see that I actually got a different restraint, but I wish it was a flexible restraint. Uh, so that I could actually use on both sides because now this fortress setup will be kept for uh, doing uh, bounties, I believe. Uh, or even regular rifts, I guess. Uh, so I'm not using this anymore unless it's uh, maybe pretty much regular rift and bounties because uh, my Vala is just really good for pushing. This is the pair of boots that I'm going to be stuck with for a while. Uh, I'm hoping to see ancient pants. You know, at some point, I'm still working on bracers at the moment. Uh, apparently, when I did this, I did not aug it. I thought I counted five augs that included a belt, but it wasn't. It was some other pieces that totaled five. Uh, I, I actually got this off Kadala uh, just the day before yesterday. And then um, I'm still not seeing too many Squirts necklaces like I used to have seen before where I actually got Trifecta pretty early. Uh, even if it's terrible, at least it's a Trifecta, but then I haven't seen one. Um, like I said just now, I'm I'm working on the Raps of Clarity right now. I've got an Ancient one, but it's a 42%. I can't lose that 5% Legendary passive, though. Uh, it's really important. Uh, I did get an Ancient Focus together with a new Restraint later that I'm going to show. Uh, that allows me to deal more damage. And this Dawn is going to just stay for a while because I haven't seen something that matches this or will match my 
uh, new Vala with the 1024 setup. Well, my Vala is still using 1023 because it rolled 23 area. As in like when I re-roll re it as a Mystic. Alrighty, so that's a 118 with the old skill bar. I'm going to see if I can match that with the new skill bar that I only practiced in 2-man, two, 2 DPS. Uh, I'm hoping that I, without, quote, tank distraction, that I'm still able to maintain my squirt necklace as best I can. So I was saying... This is the new focus, and this is the new restraint. Now, unfortunately, this restraint isn't the flexible version where I could do crit, crit, cooldown. So that's where I'm also short on damage. And then this is the Vala that I got at the start of last night, and this actually kickstarts the actual pushing and when it comes to actual pushing just like long before uh, basically in season 21 where around the 120 is it starts to slow down especially if you don't use coe it will start to slow down and uh, this vala however will help to kickstart my pushing uh, in terms of the chaos that I normally do. Uh, however, I am also quite unsure if I can create the same chaos uh, if I'm not using Fortress. So we will see, but I do know that I have the damage. Uh, I just need to see if I'm going to get wrecked by just the sheer density that I normally pull. Although, before starting, I like I said, I want to do some augments since I will be using those items for most likely a while unless for some odd reason that it will pop up as an upgrade uh, after my pushes, and so be it, I guess. Uh, but normally, it rarely ever happens that way. So, I am thinking that I need... To discover new sliver of terrors just in case I do get what I need then that's another extra boost so let's go ahead and do that let's go ahead and pick pick some out Uh, 12.5 is not what I want. Ooh, 15. Ah, uh, intelligence. 15 is cool, though. I could use this for more resist and cooldown. Now, I'm actually pretty interested as well in this version. So, this is this is this might be a good one. Fourteen is okay. Vitality is okay too. I actually don't mind vitality. Aw, oh, man. It rolled the other thing. Okay, so... Huh. Well... This rolled a 12.5, so I'm most likely not going to be using that. 
but it's going to be very disappointing if it pops up to be Dex. <laughs> so let's see what sliver of terrors that I don't no longer need. Well, I'm keeping some of these because I only have so many. And I think I should just replace this. right now for more just that little bit and I'm actually pretty interested in the in the attack speed and crit but I'll hang on to this one for now so I guess I'm not going to do any augments. I'm just going to try and push this through. And I do want to see the, the extra boost. It might come back to bite me with the attack speed though. So let's try. Uh, I have the gold. Uh, but the question is, what am I going to be pushing? This 116, I guess, if I do get my chances. Okay, it's fine. I lost my squirt necklace already. Ho. Oh. Okay, conduit is in there. What do I have? Might as well just stick with this. That attack speed is interesting.
Okay. Bugs. Another yellow. Speed pylon? Oh man, that is gonna be painful. Okay. This speed pile on though. Yeah, this is interesting. Channeling? Nah, I don't need that. There we go. Aww. 
guess it's okay. Feels pretty good. Let's go ahead and search for some pools. There's one. It's not it. That's not it either. That's not, that's not it either. Come on, where? Why is it always like lack thereof? There we go. That 
that's the 119. Back to this. Check the map again. Let's see if there's anything here. What about here? What about here? And this walking thing. What about this map? That one's not it. There's one. Mm. One is not enough. I'll just grab it. Just go back. Do I want anything else? No, I don't think so. Nothing. Okay. Let's leave. Go ahead and do our 120. Clean this up. Stat wise, that's better, but. Do I have here? Okay. This has to block though. I am Someday we must be broken. Ah, whatever. Stats. Just deal with that later. It's not even ancient yet. Okay. Let's go ahead and get our 120. Yeah, this these pesky soul lashers 
it's gonna be really not friendly for my squirt necklace. Too close, I think. I think I might have to f pull this one or not at all. Maybe I'll skip that one. Oh, speed again, huh? Out of bounds is so frustrating. This can get real interesting. This is like a lot of progression.
Okay. Ah, oh, that's a waller. And arcane beams, no thank you. Let's go ahead and skip that. Or I could take it. Maybe. Oof. That's very painful. Okay. I need to wait though. Okay. Oh, festering. And power. Oh, I, I'll just keep that. Keep that for the last one minute, and it'll be fine. There we go. Really? Oh, man. Terrible. Terrible. I guess I have to work for that. All those upgrades on that Taeguk. Let's go ahead and find some pools again. There we go, there's one. There's two. This is the other pool. Is it a shrine or a pool? Okay. A flying bird. Nice.
Okay. Alrighty, next. Change back to dot heart. Go for a one twenty one. I have a feeling I shouldn't even bother with a squirt necklace. The only squirt necklace will help is like Riv Guardian or something. Just try to kill everything. <laughs> Yes. Uh, maybe not. Power. Okay. Triple pack. This will be quite a challenge.
Did I kill it? Whatever. I don't have... Mm, this is gonna be quite tough. Channeling is making me press the wrong buttons. <sighs> Shield's nice. I could consider it if there's another pack. There we go. There we go. Come on. There we go. That's fine. All right, let's go ahead and find ourselves. Uh, where have I not gone? That's not it. That's not. That's not...
this. That's an interesting looking crown. Spend our blood shards. That was some progress. Let's go ahead and check. Okay. There we go. 194, top 200. Seems good. Helmet, shoulders, gloves, restraint, bala, boots, pants, belt, chest, squirt necklace, perhaps clarity, focus, and dawn. And then making use of Sliver of Terrors, I have my original PTR 2.6.9, Vanishing Powder, obviously Vengeance, and then including Pinpoint Accuracy so that I don't have to press it as much since I don't do that other thing. And then I also have the wolf for a longer cooldown. Yeah, so I try to have two longer cooldowns so that I don't have to press as much. And then since I do quite a bit of damage, I don't need the ambush. I rather just play it all the way out towards uh, when there's like much lesser number of targets as well as uh, for the Rift Guardian don't spawn additional ads. 
so this will help. And uh, yeah.